Hello friends, welcome to the Kemi Player channel where we love all kinds of video games, but perhaps fighting games just a tiny little more. We're continuing our holiday special, 12 Days of Fighters, where we take a closer look at characters that some of you wished were featured before. Today I decided to spice things up a bit, so instead of one, we'll have two characters to analyze. That's right, it's Hisui and Kohaku from Melty Blood, as requested in Mena in Puppet Characters. So let's start with Hisui then. She's the one that wears a bonnet on her head and brown western made uniform. Hisui was a member of a branch family of the Fujou clan, but was brought with her older sister Kohaku to live in the Tona mansion, because the Fujou clan had a special power of giving others energy. Makihisa Tono needed this ability in order to keep control of his body. Hisui, however, was never forced to utilize her abilities as a synchronizer because of the pleas of Kohaku and instead found herself living as a normal girl. When Shiki Nanaya arrived to the Tono house, at first he was unwilling to adapt to his new home, still traumatized for the death of his father. However, Hisui was the one who encouraged Shiki to go out and play in the house. Her childhood was pleasant and even though she is not naturally an active person, upon seeing Shiki playing so energetically, she did her best to keep up with him. After Shiki went on to live with the Arimas, Hisui learned that Makihisa raped Kohaku. Jeez, that got surprisingly dark all of a sudden. So she becomes depressed. Kohaku, noticing this, promises Hisui that she will take on her role until she was cheerful again. Ironically, it is because of those words that Hisui is unable to return to her old self. Hisui appears as a stern young woman, but actually she is a kind, loving and emotional girl, hiding her emotions to keep her sister as she is due to the incident with Makihisa. As for Kohaku, the one with the blue ribbon at the back of her head and wearing a kimono, unlike Hisui, she was forced to use her ability, which was a big problem since the transfer of energy is strongest through the means of sexual intercourse. Due to it, as a child, she was constantly raped by Makihisa, and unlike the other children, she had to watch them from afar as they played together. Just before Shiki Tono leaves the mansion to live with the Arima family, Kohaku gives him her favorite ribbon and makes him promise to return it, indirectly begging him to come back. Sometime later, Makihisa decided to give more freedom to Kohaku, but in order to do it, she had to take care of an imprisoned Shiki. That's uh, another Shiki. Don't get confused. Let's call him New Shiki for now, shall we? However, due to having to keep control of his body, just like his father, New Shiki eventually raped Kohaku. This drove her further into despair, making her reach the decision to get revenge on the Tono family. To do it, she twisted and brainwashed New Shiki with her medicinal herbs, all for the sake of her revenge. Sometime later, Akiha freed Kohaku from Makihisa and she became a normal servant, but Hisui was still depressed, leading Kohaku to make that promise to her younger sister. Kohaku is always seemed to be smiling and cheerful, being especially gifted with medicine, which she learned from the Sogen Jinan. However, all of it is an act. In truth, Kohaku's smile is empty, as she was mentally scared and traumatized at a young age due to constantly being abused by Makihisa. Eventually, she stopped feeling emotions and put up a false smile, as well as a cheerful demeanor. So, yeah, that was dark. Let's talk gameplay, shall we? In the fighting game, Kohaku and Hisui team up to form one of Melty Blood's most powerful characters. Either sister can be on point and they play very similarly to the solo incarnations, usually sacrificing a few specials or command normals in exchange for their partner's assist. With more of a focus on dominating neutral and creating mix-ups with their assists while still retaining the set play both characters are known for, the maids are Melty Blood's iconic team character. Crested Moon Phase maids, especially with Kohaku on point, are easily an S-tier character, while Full and Half Moon are significantly weaker but still interesting choices for people who may want to expand on the solo versions of Hisui and Kohaku. So yeah, that was a lot and maybe not very much holiday-like with the tragic backstory and all, but I hope you enjoy it just the same. Who's next? Anyone in particular you would like to see? Leave your opinions below, remember to support the channel by liking and sharing the video, subscribe if you haven't, and stick around. I'll see you soon for yet another entry in our 12 Days of Fighters list. Until then.